pretty yummy, but we've got some more stops, so let's keep going. Oh my god! <laughs> Am I a real New Yorker yet? All right, stop number two is a classic slice shop. When I lived here five years ago, I had 99 cent pizza all the time, but now it's a dollar fifty. I'm still gonna try it. I'm not discriminating against any pizza. Get in the vegetarian. I love ranch with my pizza, so I hope they have some. Do you have ranch? Do you eat ranch with your pizza? Piece of art. Look at that ranch perfectly placed to the side. That is what I'm talking about. Load it up, load it up. All the goodies. Moment of truth. It's so funny because when I interned here five years ago, I ate dollar pizza probably every week. This is what I lived off of. So now I would say it's just not the same. It does not hit the same. Probably 6.5. I would do this for a late night if it was the only thing open still. So 6.5. All right, going to the third stop. I am really working for this pizza because y'all, it's cold. I can't feel my toes. I've still got two jackets on, but that is how dedicated I am. That's how much I love pizza. So I'm gonna try this next one out. I'm full, but I will still eat pizza. Stop number three, I'm here at Defara's, which has been around in New York since 1965. People have been telling me to try this place and I'm excited to try a slice of New York history. Am I doing it? All right, change of plans. I'm a chef now. They invited me back to actually make my own pizza. So I'm gonna go back and learn how to do it. Place your hands on the edges. The go edges. ahead. Get in there, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Yes, both hands, yes. Both hands. Both hands. This is my first time making pizza from start to finish. All I've done is frozen pizza and put some extra toppings on it. Yes. It's starting to look like a oval. It's okay. Pizza doesn't have to be uh, perfect. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, make it look good so y'all can hire me. Start from the middle. Yes, and go ahead. Go ahead. Firmly, baby. Go Firmly. Ahead. Round them up. Round them up. Oh, it's not reaching. Absolutely. Great job. Let me get wow. you a little sauce. Yeah. Soft work. Soft box. Make sure every... <laughs> you know salve yet. <laughs> I'm trying to be... <laughs> It's all in the technique, right? Yes. Yes. The angles. You can use it all. <laughs> no cheese, no love. Do you ever just want to go? No. <laughs> and we create our own wheel of a real Parmigiano de Jam. So when you taste the pizza, it tastes nutty and delicious. Ooh, this is the fun part. See? You did a great job. <laughs> this is a great pizza. This is the Miss Universe no specialty. <laughs> so this is gonna be the drop-off pizza we put. <laughs> the drop-off pizza. What do you think? Pizza. Now, the hard part. Okay. So raising your hands. Come right, right here. Right over here. All the way in. All the way in. Okay. So that's the pizza I made. It's cooking right now literally just made my pizza dreams come true because I have always wanted to learn how to do a five-star pizza. So fingers crossed it actually tastes as good as it looks. Nice and easy. Perfect. Start from the end. See? Drop off pizza. All right. <laughs> Got it? This is like what I do at home. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is your home. With the frozen pizza. <laughs> With the frozen pizza. I will never eat frozen pizza again. Don't do it. <laughs> you did a great job. <laughs> Moment of truth for the Miss Universe drop off pizza. Tifara, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is a 12. For sure. So I would say the pizza tour was a success. I tried pizzas of all shapes, 
sizes and flavors, and it ended in a way I did not expect. I made my own pizza. I'm eating it right now. It's absolutely delicious. Thank y'all for following me along, and tune in for next time.